What would happen if one day your best friend is desperate because you are too shy? Would you try to do it all over again or just let them be? That is the situation that the main character in The Banshees of Yeniseren encounters. For me, this is one of the best movies of 2022 because it clearly illustrates the pain and loneliness in a broken relationship. So where is the reason for the determination to break up? And what does director Martin McDonough want to borrow from this story? Let's find out in this video. Kam and Patrick were close friends, always together like a shadow. But one day, Kam suddenly said he wanted to quit because he didn't like Patrick anymore. According to Kam, his friends are too narrow-minded but he can't continue to waste his life on shallow things. In fact, even foreigners are always wondering why a calm is always so quiet and always goes with a simple-minded Patrick, so there's nothing strange about him not wanting to hang out with girls. The strange thing is that they have been best friends for many years. Why does Calm want to break up at this time? Through his confession to his father, it can be realized that Calm is facing a life-threatening crisis. The origin of that crisis comes from the environment he lives in. Inisharan is an island located far away, almost isolated from the world around. Here, people don't have too many choices. They can only accept to live a monotonous and boring life. Throughout the film, we rarely see the characters doing anything else, but only see them coming to the bar to kill time. For a simple person like Patrick, such a peaceful life with his sister, best friend, and Uncle Jenny is enough to relax. However, that monotony only makes Calm feel bored and unbearable because he is a person with a high need for spirit. Worse than that, the people around him didn't understand what he was trying to say and what he was pursuing. For example, Patrick, who had just seen his friend playing music and writing, turned to look at the wine shop owner with a bitter smile. The words at the wrong time also showed that Patrick only saw music as a vain and stupid hobby of his old friend. Living among people who can't understand you like that, loneliness in Kong grew gradually. Like Catherine Chavon, at the end of the film, no matter how many times you read it, Kong doesn't want to leave the island he's been living in all his life. We can understand why Kam cut off his relationship with the other musician. It's because he's disappointed with the life in front of him and wants to find meaning in the future. Kam hopes to find a place in the future. So instead of listening to Patrick telling meaningless stories, he just wants to spend time writing music with a meaning. But if the cause of the breakup is not that, then why did Kam only have cold violence with himself, Patrick, while he can still have fun talking with people who are no less boring than Galapagos? Perhaps it was Calm who did not realize that he was hiding the dissatisfaction about his life, Kavehondo and Yishirin, in that simple box. He led a happy Patrick with things that made him miserable, led a Patrick to look down on what he respected. In Calm's eyes, he used to be that close friend, not only did not tolerate Mr. Yen, but also followed others to create pressure, forcing him to do what he wanted. The angry feeling covered Calm's eyes from the cruelty of himself, a cruelty that seemed to be nurtured by the island that made him both love and hate. On the one hand, Kam said he did not want to hurt Patrick, but on the other hand, he threatened and tortured him with self-destruction. In the end, Kam stubbornly cut off a finger from a hand, leading to no longer being able to play the guitar, hoping to spend time on music at this time, just as an excuse for meaningless fights. And when everything could not be saved and the friendship that Patrick had for him had turned into hatred, I realized that not only did I not escape despair, but I also fell into a new abyss, the abyss of regret. On Padraig's side, from the beginning, we know that Ga is a kind person. Ga will warmly welcome everyone he meets on the road, even those he doesn't like. Ga will be willing to help a Dominic who is being abused when most people on the island only know how to kick him. Ga is gentle with animals, treating them like friends and family. Whoever is good to him, Ga will cherish them in his heart. On an island full of coldness and rare forgiveness, this kind heart is truly admirable. We should still witness Padraig holding animals whenever he is abused. We don't need to pity Ga. But I have to say that the lack of self-esteem, lack of respect, and lack of empathy for what I don't understand about Patrick is not a small factor that leads to the tragedy of Ga. In a conversation with his sister Siobhan, Patrick once said that if Kam was empathetic, at least he could keep that empathy for himself. These words are said too easily because at that time, Ga still did not know what loneliness and despair were. Because he could not understand the depth of his friend, in the eyes of Patrick, Kam's behavior was no different from being himself. The attitude of not respecting other people's wishes, not considering what they said as serious as throwing time into the fire, made Patrick more and more stubborn, and Kam fell further and further away. Then, despite that, it caused irreparable consequences. Kam's clenched hands clearly stated that they could never go back to the way they were. 
Shiaban could not stand the madness of the first level, so she left initial dream to find a new life. Dominic lost his faith in the kindness of humans, along with a dream of a happy future, but chose to dive into the lake. His only friend, Ha Jiang. When Patrick recalled that she lied to Jenny, he remembered that the button was the wrong one. It was at this point that Patrick realized that the truth could make her lose her job. In the midst of her loneliness, she turned hatred into a way of life and became a bitter story like all the other men on the island. At the end of the film, Ko lost his house, lost his ability to play the guitar, and the weight of despair that Tuong had been able to resist returned. Patrick lost the kindness that he was always proud of, lost his sister, lost Jenny, lost his only best friend, Dominic. Clearly, both of them sacrificed too much for a war that could have ended much sooner. But in the end, like all other meaningless wars, the more you lose, the harder it becomes to stop. If you pay attention, in the Banshees of Yenishirin, many details have been censored to warn in advance of the sad fate of the characters. For example, right at the beginning of the show, Dominic showed off the jade branch that he had just found with Patrick, but later that branch was used to kill him. Or, in almost all of Jenny's scenes, this liar is trying to put something in her mouth that she shouldn't eat, and then finally dies because of this habit. For those who have seen the film more than once, such details bring back a sad and difficult feeling, as if it had just slipped through a newspaper. Even if it's her first time watching the film, she will still feel the sadness because there is a character predicted to be the future, which is McCormick. The appearance of this character, along with the gloomy prophecy, says that the tragedies that happen are inevitable and unavoidable. This makes people think a lot about Banshee, the goddess of death in the Irish myth, because every time she appears, Banshee will announce the death of a person to her family. Obviously, what McCormick does is very much in line with the description of a banshee. There is a saying from the banshee in the title, which means that the film is not just about a goddess of death. So maybe we shouldn't put banshee in a fixed character, but we should understand this word in a broader sense as a sign of death. Because in fact, such signs have soon appeared in life, such as peace here. It is contempt for differences, such as Dominic's father laughing at Siobhan. It is contempt for the lives of those who have been abused and abused, even trampled on them, as the people of Yenishirin did to a despicable Dominic. It is a double standard attitude. It only gives you the right to guess about others, but does not give them the right to guess again, as the experts say. And even the habit of infringing personal privacy rights as the owner of the grocery store suddenly pulled out a letter that was not hers. The people of Indochina lack empathy and respect for each other, which will bring tragedy to the island. In the end, if the god of death does not cause them death, they are the ones who do it. The question is, what does Martin McDonough want to send through such a sad story? The Badges of Initiation takes place in 1923 at the end of the Irish Civil War. Throughout the film, the sounds of gunfire from the other side of the land signify an indescribable separation from what is happening between the main characters. It is known that 1921 was the time when Ireland just won the battle for independence from Britain. The British Ireland Treaty was signed. After that, six of Ireland's northern borders still belonged to Britain, and the remaining 26 borders in the south would become a sovereign state, but still part of the British Commonwealth, with the same ruler as Britain. The problem is that many Irish people opposed this treaty and demanded to be completely independent from Britain. The war broke out between the supporters and the opponents of the treaty, when those who used to be the conquerors became the enemies. Later, the six northern borders were unified with Britain and transformed into the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland. The remaining 26 southern borders became an independent nation under the name of the Republic of Ireland. In fact, Inushirin is an abandoned island. Its name is combined with two words, Inish, meaning island, and Eirin, another way to call the island. The Banshees of Inishirin is a film about the pain of this division, and what happens between Corn and Padraig is the light of the civil war here. One side wants to change the situation, the other side wants to keep what they have. The fight between them is a sudden one with many people, but in fact, it is the result of long-standing conflicts when the believers in the North are afraid of being oppressed by the believers in the South in a new order. In the end, the two sides no longer fight for their homeland, but only hurt each other blindly to protect their point of view. The sudden departure of Jenny and Dominic in the film suggests that the consequences of the war always go beyond what the initiators can predict. And as Padraig expected, there are wounds that never heal. Despite the end of the Civil War in 1923, the islands were completely cut off, 
and conflicts still affect the relationship between the two sides to this day. As we know, not only Martin McDonough has the blood of the Irish, but all the leading actors are Irish. It's not hard to understand when they want to make a film about the pain of their nation. Is it true that with the Banshees of Indochina, the film crew wants to send hope that one day, different sides will learn to sympathize and respect each other, and with the war in the past, there will be no blood left? May the force be with you. I'm going to make him an offer again. Play as time goes by. Hasta la vista, baby.